By the year 2050, there will be 9 billion people on the planet. With such growth in population, farmers and ranchers have come up with new and inventive ways to produce mass amounts of food. One step in the efficiency direction is the use of beta agonists in cattle. Beta agonists are repartitioning agents that take nutrients that would otherwise go to fat composition and turns that into muscle. With beta agonists like Zilmax and Optiflex, you can add up to 33 pounds per carcass. Zilmax is a most well-known beta agonist that was used in cattle before being taken off the market. Zilmax is an FDA-approved feed supplement. Using Zilmax allows farmers to raise more beef from fewer cattle, which in turn makes the beef more affordable. Without an efficient use of products such as Zilmax, beef prices are forced to rise and less beef is being produced. For cattlemen and packing plants, there's great monetary value to feeding Zilmax and other beta agonists. You can add up to 33 pounds per carcass and decrease the numerical yield grade, which is beneficial for all parties involved. Despite the many years of safe use with Zilmax, in August 2013, Tyson announced that they would no longer purchase cattle that had been fed Zilmax due to animal welfare issues. Dr. Ryan Rathman of Texas Tech University explains more on this issue. Two summers ago, an accusation was made uh, by a, a prominent uh, packing plant, Tyson Foods, uh, that uh, some cattle that came into their plant in August um, sloughed their hooves. And uh, the cattle had been on Zilmax, as I understand it, and, and uh, consequently uh, not necessarily blaming Zilmax for causing that response, but being fearful that may be uh, a potential root cause. Uh, they. Uh, uh, decided that they would uh, take uh, would not accept the use uh, not accept cattle had been set, fed Zilmax uh, until further research was conducted. After the accusations were made by Tyson, Texas Tech University became the leading university in research on the welfare issues that Zilmax could possibly have on the cattle. What we found was is that uh, uh, there was no major reason to believe uh, that Zilmax had any negative effects on hoof health or could be. Uh, blamed uh, for sloughing of hooves uh, in the opinion of that veterinarian and uh, collectively uh, looking at the results of the study. But Not only is Zilmax safe to eat, but it's also environmentally friendly. Zilmax helps conserve resources because fewer cattle means less waste, energy, land, and water. By 2050, there's expected to be 8 million people in the world, and beta agonists are necessary technologies to increase muscle yield on beef carcasses. This is a great way to increase the amount of pounds per animal and feed the growing population.